All right, what is going on guys? Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another tutorial today. So in the last tutorial that I made, I showed you how to play Mario Kart Wii online in the year 2017, of course. This is just going to be a quick follow-up video on how to do it for, or how to apply that same patch to all your other games. Now there's just one different step that you got to take. Um, the things that you were required for this tutorial is of course your own ROM file. I cannot provide you with that. Google that shit. Google is your best friend on this situation. Or if you're already using a USB loader connected with the hard drive to your Wii, then you're good to go. Just copy that file over to your desktop or into a folder where you can manage and use it for this tutorial here. So one thing that I will provide you with as well is a compatibility list that you're going to have to go through and see if the game that you currently want to play online is actually fully supported. We got like Dr. Mario here is fully supported. Some of them are going to be partially working. Some of them are going to be in a testing phase and others are going to be working except with such and such error that will be specified here. So it's up to you. Go through the, the list. Figure out if the game that you're currently interested in playing is going to work. For me, I've already gone through the list, found four games that I'm interested in playing. So I already got that situated, copied over from my hard drive onto the folder for the continuation of this tutorial. The next thing you're going to have to go do is go into the Wii and 5 page and download the patcher. Very simple, patcher for all other games is this one right here. This is the one that we downloaded last time for the Mario Kart Wii. So just click on the download link. Click save, let it do its thing, download, boom, boodle, boom. I'm going to go ahead and exit this right here. I'll show you exactly where my output file is right here. So for those of you that don't have WinRAR or whatever program that you're running with, just extract it. If you do not have an unzipping software, I provided you with the link down there in the description for WinRAR. Just click OK, let it do its thing. I've already got that extracted, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that for the continuation of the tutorial. I got everything situated down here. So I got my patcher, and then I got my four round files. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, Mario Sports Mix, Super Sluggers, um, Sonic and, Race, uh, and Sega All-Stars Racing, and then this one right here is going to be my Super Smash Bros. Brawl. For some reason, I cannot pronounce that name correctly anytime that I try. So if you go into the folder, there's going to be a readme file. This is going to tell you exactly what I'm going to tell you as well. All you got to go do is go into the specified folder for your operating system. So if you're running Linux, you're going to go into the Linux folder. If you're running Mac, you're going to go into your Mac folder and da da da. da. So we're running Windows, so we're going to focus on the Windows folder. Once you got the image file copied into the Windows folder, all you got to do is click on the patch hyphen wm5.bat file or the patch hyphen wm5.sh file. And then once it's doing this thing, it's going to create a folder in here that's going to call, be called wm5 images. So to get on with the tutorial, Gonna highlight all of these, cut all the, the images, go into the Wii and 5 patcher, go into our Windows folder, paste them in there. So we got four of our images right here. And then all we got to do is go into click on the patch Wii and 5. Now it's going to do its thing. Once it's done, I'll come back and we'll continue from there. All right. So it looks like it's just about done. It finishes doing its thing. But what I'm noticing here is I got a, quite a few errors for my Super Smash Bros. Brawls um, ISO. I have to look into that. We won't focus on on that in this tutorial but as you can see right here mario sports mix finished just fine then we got our strikers charge football finished just fine and then our sonic sega finished just fine so all we're gonna do is hit the space bar and these as i mentioned before these files i don't know if i mentioned it before but these four files right here are going to be staying intact there's they're not going to be touched the actual output of file with the patch is going to be in this folder right here so these right here are going to be your patch files don't know exactly what happened with the Super Smash Bros. Well, I'll, I'll take a look at it, see what happened with that. But after this step right here, once it's done, your files are completely patched. Just copy back over to your hard drive, connect it back up to your Wii, and then connect as if you're going, going to try to connect to the Nintendo servers. And then from there, just follow the on-screen prompts if there happen to be any. But as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next tutorial.